hello friends welcome back to my channel uh, today we are doing a quick tutorial on storing the state file in the storage account uh, we have already used access keys in our last video uh, so today we are just trying to use a sas token the benefit of using sas token is that you can have a you know time period for the validity you can have uh, some granular permissions you can actually grant permission to a particular container so uh, using access keys is not the best uh, idea because access key gives you access to the entire storage account so let's uh, use our sas token to configure the same uh, state file that we had in last week last tutorial so uh, this was the state file that we had uh, from last tutorial let's generate our sas token we will give it all the permissions read add create write delete and list yeah that should be enough once you have done that uh, look at the start and expiry date so this this is one of the flexibilities of using sas token for example if you have some contractor uh, who's doing your job and the timeline you know you, the timeline of the project is like a year and then you will deprecate everything that you can use like a year worth of expiry for that token but yeah so we have generated the blob sas token let's use it copy and pasted okay so if you see this terraform block with the backend configuration so this is how we need to def uh, i mean uh, declare the sas token within the backend block sas underscore token equals to the token we generated in our previous step let's copy it and paste it in our backend block backend block has the resource group name storage account name container name and the key which is the file name state file name and let's just save it All right we are good uh, let's run terraform in it so we'll initialize the terraform again and when you do that it will tell you that the backend configuration has changed and to move ahead we will be using the migrate state because we want to keep the existing state file you know the configuration we don't want to create a new one so we will do terraform in it migrate state what it will do is it will just you know uh, migrate the existing one to the new configuration migrate state oh, that's a mistake let me correct that yep that is all and if you see uh, terraform has been successfully initiated successfully configured the backend terraform will automatically use this backend unless the backend configuration changes so we are good let's do a plan and no change is required because we have not made any changes to our actual configuration no changes were required so we are all set now what we're gonna do is we will just hide this has token we don't want this sas token to be hard coded in our code which is a really bad practice to do that you will store this sas token as an environment variable to do that in powershell you use dollar env arm sas token equals to the token then just copy this and let's paste it yeah. 
and run it. So it has been stored. Uh, if you want to check whether it has been stored successfully or not, you can just do a dir env and you will be able to see all the environment variables. If you go up, uh, should be yeah. So if you see, we have got arm underscore sas underscore token. That's what we stored just now. So, so the SAS token now exists as a environment variable. So we don't need to hard code it anymore. So let's just delete it. So Terraform is programmed to look for these uh, variables. So it will, when you don't provide these variables, it is programmed to go into environment variables and look for these values. So let's do Terraform in it again. We will get the same error because the configuration has changed. It will ask us to either migrate or reconfigure. And we will do the migrate. So you do Terraform in it, migrate state, successfully initialized. Do a Terraform plan. And no configuration changes and that's it we have configured the backend using sas token so please please do a uh, like and subscribe if you haven't yet and watch out of uh, this channel for more tutorials related to terraform and data engineering thank you